Hey guys, it's going and welcome to another uh, showdown live, more 6th gen stuff. Just getting into the tier and stuff, learning the ropes and whatever, learning everything. And yeah, we're just going to do some uh, OU, I guess, because it's the only tier that's here right now. And, well, there's Ubers and there's Little Cup, but I'm not doing either of those yet. So yeah, we'll see how we do. And uh, we're going to go with a uh, decent team we got here, except for Furbro. Uh, Crobat, not a problem. Sylveon, meh. I don't have, I have Scizor for that, uh, Aegislash is just a problem. I'm gonna lead off with my Terrakeon, I guess, as he leads with Aegislash, which I can't do anything to, so we're gonna get out of there, and I've already lost, because I can't, I can't do anything to Aegislash, so, I mean, yeah, there's the Sword's Dance, and I lost. <laughs> I just straight up lost already. Alright, Skull is a decent amount. It gets. Uh, never mind, I won. <laughs> I haven't lost yet, I guess, because I got the uh, the lucky burn, but. Yeah, that's. It's a. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's quit <good> already. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Want to start? Let's move on to something else then. If I get Stall, I'm like automatically forfeiting, though. I'm not playing against Stall. I played against Stall already. I couldn't whittle down any team. So I'm just gonna like quit right away if I get Stall. Another Aegis Slash. Kieran Black, uh, usual threats upon threats, except for, actually Bronzong is kind of a problem to this team, but not too bad. He'll lead off with Kudra, and he'll probably lead off with Ambipom, I don't have a like, safe lead to Ambipom, actually, I'm gonna lead off with Scizor instead, seeing as I can take a fake out, as he does lead with that, and I'm gonna just Mega Evolve and go for like Sword Sands or something. Uh, so we just go for the fake out, normal gem boosted fake out does nothing to Mega Scizor. I'm gonna go for his sword stance as he may go out into uh, bronze on, but I can just go for a bug bite and still do some decent damage, so that is no problem. Actually, I'm in a good position here with Mega Scizor. I don't know if I can kill his. Uh... Oh, I could probably kill his Meloetta with the bug bite. I could kill it with a bug bite unless he goes for something crazy. Yeah, I think I'm actually in a really good position here. What's that bug one he has there? It is a Aegislash. Slash. That is the only problem. Goes for the acrobatics, doesn't do that much. Get up a sword stance, and it is time to just BP things. So let's do it. And uh, hopefully knock them out. So. Switches out into Bronzong. Uh, well, I did not take that too kindly at all. Uh, let's go for a bug bite then, I should outspeed it. And uh, yeah, I think I should kill. Still have technician, bug bite goes under technician. Sword stance, Mega Scizor. Uh, hopefully it will kill. And, uh, that'd be great. So, uh, yeah. How are you guys doing? <laughs> How's everything going? Hopefully good. Nice critical hit. Don't know if that's necessary. I would highly doubt it, though. I don't know. I think because Bullet Punch that was resisted did, like, 34%, I don't think, uh, that's too much of a problem. Uh, I'm gonna go out into... Uh, I could stay in, but I know he's gonna HP fire. It's too obvious. I'm gonna go out into my, uh, into my Gudra and just eat that up. That was not. A, that was nice. That was. I enjoyed that. Can I have another HP fire? So he goes out to Age Slash, and that takes that very well, obviously, because Age Slash is Age Slash. Hopefully, he goes for like the Sword Dance. I'm pretty sure I can limit Shadow Sneak, and I do outspeed. Oh, I missed the Fire Blast, so he actually goes right by the. Oh wow, maybe I couldn't live in Iron Head. Uh. Or not, well, I couldn't, I can't live an iron, but maybe I couldn't live a shadow sneak? Plus two shadow sneak? Uh, it's questionable, but yeah, Gruja took some unnecessary damage there, because if I didn't miss, actually, if I missed, I wouldn't have done that much, so it really doesn't matter. He's probably going to go for King Shield, so he goes back into his, like, defense form, and that way he won't take as much damage from Fire Blast, because this Gruja has, like, no special attack investment. It is a special wall, so. Goes out into this, uh, that does, like, no damage. I do get the burn. <laughs> that's alright then. And I'm gonna switch out into Polytoad. Just to take a hit. As he's gonna go for a Dragon Pulse, and I don't know if Gudra would have lived that. Gudra was at like 50%. It may have lived. I don't think it would have, but it could have. Uh, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam as he goes to Kieran Black. And uh, this thing probably wants to go for a Fusion Bolt. I don't have anything that wants to take it, so I'm gonna have to sack Polytoad here. And just let it die to Fusion Bolt. As he goes for while the outrage, uh, dude, I have a zoom girl. You're locked into outrage now. Prepare to get popped. Play rough. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so knocked out, easy. 
<laughs> That's not- I love Azumarill in this gen, it's like so good. Just like, resist dragons. Comes in, kills with play rough, you forgot it was a fairy type. Well, yeah, I would've went for Fusion Bolt if I was him. I don't know, I think that seems like the better play to me. But, H slash coming in. Uh, back to... I don't have anything to go back to. <laughs> um, uh, I could come in and like hit him with something later, so I'm gonna go back into a uh, Gudra, I guess. As he stays in, goes for the Iron Head, knocks me out. Fair enough, I get the speed drop, so I'm gonna go out now into Azumarill. And he's probably gonna switch out into his uh, Latios, maybe, or Meloetta, or he could switch out to anything, but none of them appreciate a waterfall. So it goes for. <sighs> that was what I should have expected. That was far too obvious. Far, far, far too obvious. That was so poor on my part. But he's gonna go for the Iron Head. Zapdos resists it, and I can go for a T-Bolt. King Shield, ah uh, yeah, that doesn't affect my uh, my Zapdos, so... Go for another T-Bolt, I guess, and hit something decently. That's some decent damage. Don't get the power, though, which sucks. As he goes for the Iron Head again, that's not gonna help him. I can just go for a Roost on the potential King Shield. And... Oh, he goes... Oh, he went for Shadow Sneak. Good play, good play. Alright, so... Alright, let's go to Scizor, then. And what we're gonna do is go for a Swords Dance. Oh no, yeah, go for Swords Dance, because he's gonna King Shield. Obviously, gonna King Shield here. And, uh, yeah. He's obviously gonna King Shield, predicting like an attacking move. There we go. Swords Dance up. I do outspeed because of his small speed drop. And I think I outsped anyway, so that doesn't even kill. But I get his Lumberry, so I mean, he doesn't get his, uh. <laughs> his, like, Lum, whatever. Alright, so that didn't take me out, that's good. I'm gonna roost again, predicting another, uh, Shadow Sneak. Well, predicting another King Shield on the potential Bug Bite. There we go, back to full. And I think I can just BP everything, so we're doing good. Alright, let's go for a Bug Bite. Doesn't quite kill. <laughs> Which sucks. Uh, I'm gonna roost again, because I don't want to risk him. Like, it's all mind games with Aegis Slash. You gotta know the mind games to play the mind games. <laughs> and this, he, uh, he knows, he knows the mind game, but actually, I'm gonna roost again, he's definitely gonna, yeah, there it is. You just gotta know the mind games, you just gotta know. You gotta know when he's gonna go for it and when you have to go for it. There we go, knock out Aegis Slash. <laughs> you just have to know the mind games, that's what Aegis Slash is all about, you actually have to know what's gonna hit you, when it's gonna hit you. And yeah, we can go for a BP here, and I should be able to clean up, so... BP uh, doesn't quite kill, and she goes for a Thunderbolt, which doesn't do that much, of course, gets the Paralysis, though. Doesn't matter, though, I have priority with that, so we're good. And what I can do, I'm pretty sure his Latios is Scarfed, so he gets, like, locked into, uh, he gets locked into Hidden Power Fire. If he switches into Scizor, then I can go out into Azumarill and just clean up. And there it is. Alright, so let's pull a punch. And <laughs> fully power, it doesn't matter, though, because Comet... Uh, actually, should I go for Bug Bite? Yeah, I'll go for Bug Bite. Uh, Acrobatics doesn't do that much, and, uh, yeah, we kill that off. So, VP will do, hopefully, enough. If not, like, he has to go for Pin Power. Oh, never mind, I just kill it, so it's alright, but he had to go for HP Fire, so. Yeah, uh, that was the only way he's gonna kill Scizor, I think. So, let's get another. And, he <laughs> just Slash again. Klefki, Mega Scizor, or Mega Gardevoir, Carbink. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's go with... What's it? He's gonna lead off with probably Klefki, because that's like a suicide lead, so... Go with Politoed. As he leads off with Aegislash, like, right away, okay. I'm gonna go for Skull, I guess it's like... Yeah, please get the burn, I hope I get the burn. There it is. And there it is. That's what happens. <laughs> you don't SD. You don't lead with Age Slash for one. You don't Iron Head either. When I'm a, when I'm a Water type, you just like you have to know how to use Age Slash to get the best out of Age Slash. It's like I didn't. Oh, I didn't mean to request the timer. Oops. But yeah, you don't lead with Age. Wow, another burn. I'm getting really lucky with these skull burns. Uh, yeah, you don't lead with Age Slash. If you don't use Aegislash properly, you have to know how to use that thing, because that thing is a threat. 
But if you don't use it correctly, it's there's no point in using it at all. If you're gonna lead and go with sword sense, you just it's too risky, especially when you have a Pokemon that could potentially burn you on the field. You have to make sure that thing is gone before you can start using stuff like that with Aegislash. So, uh, yeah, let's see how much is. Well, Skull did about 33%. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take it out this one unless I get a crit. Burn damage won't take it out either, so this thing can probably get up like a layer or two of spikes, which is awful, but uh, uh, it kind of affects me, but not too greatly. I guess. And, uh, yeah, his team is actually in trouble when it comes to Mega Scizor. Uh, until, uh, well, when I take out his Scizor, at least. So, uh, what's his H slash at? 52%. Carving. Carving's a problem, except not really, because I have Scizor, which Bola punches it and, like, destroys it. So I have to keep Scizor alive for Carving. That's a rock fairy type. I need to keep it alive. Hopefully, this guy isn't gonna time stall me. <laughs> I hate time stall. Uh, t t yeah, if you just hurry up, that'd be good. And, yeah, <laughs> that'd be good if you could just hurry this up. What time are we at, actually? I think it's about, well, I don't even know, what, 16 minutes? 11, ah, I got carried away. <laughs> Can you please just make a move? Uh, someone messaged me on Skype, but I can't look at it until I finish this. <laughs> so, I'll probably get, like, one more battle after this, just so I can, like, read that message. And, uh, let's see, so... He's not gonna make a move, is he? I'll pause, when I come back, he'll hopefully have made a move. So, see you guys then. So yeah, this guy just, uh, scooped. And we're gonna get one more, and the message is actually from the Nexus. So I just, like, helped him out with one of his Wi-Fi battles, like, uploading it and stuff, so... Being a good guy and everything. <laughs> let's see if we can get another battle then, and we'll wrap it up. So... Aegislash has been in every single battle, I think. Uh, this guy's a good team, though. It's threatening. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna lead off with Politoed. I don't know, I like this team a lot, though. It's got the good... You know, it's, it works well. It does work well together. So, leads off with 4 That's perfect. I'm gonna just go for a Scald. And uh, get some damage off. Hopefully, if I get a burn, I'm gonna like call hacks. Because I got like burn on like every Scald. Which sucks for people I'm playing, but... I don't know, maybe this Politoed is just so well trained and ready for Gen 6 that he likes to burn any opposing Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna start the timer because this guy is taking too long. Unless Showdown's lagging, no it's not, it's, it's going fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, this guy needs to hurry up, please. I'll pause when he comes back, or when he makes a move, I guess. So, yeah, I'll be back when he makes a move. Alright, so he stayed in and, yeah, took this Scald, and he's gonna die to another one, unless he switches out into Gudra, which does have hydration, and I get the burn. Happens. <laughs> it happens. Alright, so let's go out to his world, and he may... I, I run Toxic Stall. Oops, you just saw who... You just saw, like, Skype pop up there. Not fully, but... Uh, the thing, it's... Yeah, I'm talking to Nexus. It was Nexus that messaged me, but... I think I said that already. Um, yeah, we can just go out into Azumarill, as he is going to go for a Toxic, I do run Toxic Stall on mine too, because it's so bulky and it survives for so long. Uh, I think I'm going to just go for a, I want to go for this, like, play rough, but that's so obvious because he's a dragon type. I want to go for the waterfall, and, well actually, nothing really appreciates play rough, yeah, why wouldn't I go for it, I guess. I mean, it hits something hard, so, I mean, sure, I guess I can hit that, so. And see what if we can do good damage, I guess. And like hopefully he no, if he stays in he's stupid. I'm gonna be honest, if he stays in he's honestly a stupid person. Because he Gudra is like such a wall and it takes it so well. It doesn't take physical hits that kindly. It's kinda like like Florges, because Florges is a really but really bulky special defensive fairy type, but it does not appreciate physical hits at all. And yeah, like, if he sacks Gudra, then he's... He's not right in the head. I guess, yeah, that's the smart play. And that does a lot. Uh, he's... Probably not gonna die to another one, so I'd rather go... Into... Oh, he's gonna set up another layer of hazards, which sucks, because hazards... I don't have any rapid spinner. I should put a rapid spinner on this team, but I don't have one. Alright, he just goes for a bolt. Okay. 
Yeah, it's cool. As I don't know what he wants to go to, Chestnut maybe. Uh, I assume that thing is probably gonna be like Subseed or something. You could go to yeah. What's he only has to go to? Well, Age Slash, which could get burned, or he can go out into Chestnut. He doesn't have a great switch. Or not Chestnut, but yeah, yeah, he can go to Chestnut, I guess. Uh, he could go into what else could he go to? Greninja. Yates, he wants to do something crazy like have a grass knot or something. But yeah, I don't know what he goes into really. Uh, yeah, to Greninja. So I know I live a hit from Greninja. I can just toxic it, get some damage off. I can go for Dark Pulse. I guess that's maybe what he's thinking, or he could be physical, so he could go for Night Slash, which if he's physical, I'm gonna eat it up because I have a defensive toad. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Hopefully it goes well. It goes for a U-turn. Uh, probably gonna go back into Gudra. My phone is, like, buzzing there. So let me just check. I got a tweet from someone. Uh, it was, like, follow Friday or something like that, I think. I don't know. But they included me, which is nice. So thanks. <laughs> Whoever it is, I'll check, like, after the battle. Uh, he's probably gonna go for a Toxic. Again. So we'll go to, uh... Go to Azumarill, go for a Waterfall on the, on the Predicted Switch. And yeah, it's sweet. Alright, so let's see what happens. Is he going to go for the Toxic? Is he going to be predictable? Yes, he is. And I'm not going to be predictable, though. I'm just going to go for the Waterfall on the Predicted Switch. Which, considering how much a... Uh, file, or not Fall Play, a uh, Player Rough did, I'm going to assume that a Waterfall will take out 40 from 25%. And, uh, easy peasy. Alright, sweet. First Pokemon down after 8 turns. Feels like it's been a lot, a lot longer because it's been somewhat stally, I guess. Not too stally, but a little bit. Okay, so, what's he go to? Uh, Chestnut, I assume, which is not a problem. Uh, I got like three emails in like one second there. <laughs> uh, we'll see what's going on. So he goes to Greninja. Uh,. <coughs> Excuse me while I'm, I think I'm coming down with something which is not great. Uh, I need to switch. I'm gonna go to Polytoad. He found what's the U turn. Uh, no, it just goes for Dark Pulse, which is a not gonna kill me. I can just go for Protect anyway and get some HP back. And that's good. Alright, so let's see. Uh, to see what this guy wants to do. I need to take a drink of water, actually, because... Yeah, <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> ah, that's good. Alright. <laughs> U-turn, yeah, I get the protect. What does he go to? He, uh, probably Gudra again. I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam. I, I just think he's playing kind of predictably, which is obviously good, because I kind of see his moves before, I guess, he sees it, or... Like, I picture it out before he does. So, if he does go to Gujar, then I can fully say I predicted it. And he does. Wow, I'm full of predictions today. <laughs> so, he's probably going to Toxic again, and what I can do is just go for a Protect. Whittle him down a little bit more. Ice Beam won't even 18%. That is awful. Even though I'm like, I have no investment, I guess. But, he just did no damage. <laughs> so, we'll go for a Protect. And, uh, yeah, we'll just whittle down the burn damage and stuff. He has no recovery. I know Gudra doesn't have recovery apart from Rest, which he could, it's actually very viable with Rest, uh, well, Rest, uh, what's it? Rest Hydration, that's it. Uh, like, it has Hydration, so that's, like, very viable. Even though Rain and all, the, all of the weathers got nerfed to, like, five turns, I think, so... It's viable. It is viable. And, uh... Yeah, I need to warn someone here on the YouTube chat because you're not allowed to advertise. <laughs> okay, yeah, someone else got it. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this guy needs to make a move. I'll come back when he makes the move and we'll see what he does. Alright, so he went for a Dragon Pulse. Uh, didn't do anything, obviously, because I used Protect. And we'll go for another Ice Beam and just continue to whittle down this thing, so that didn't do that much, and Ice Beam is going to bring it not to the range where a burn will kill. Almost, but not quite. I can just protect again, though. And I'd still need to hit him with another Ice Beam. As he decides he's going to switch out into Aegislash. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm in trouble. 
I'm in trouble. What do I do to Aegis Lash now? Uh, I'm gonna protect just in case he wants to go for a Shadow Sneak. I think just because I have enough defensive bulk, I can live a Shadow Sneak. Hopefully he doesn't predict the protect and goes for Sword Sense, because that would be... That would be awful. That would be very bad. And I don't want that to happen. So, yeah, let's just hope he doesn't. And we can uh, hit him up with a Scald. So, yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna get swept. Uh, can I get the double protect? No, I, I don't want to risk it. I'm just gonna go for a Scald. He's gonna go for a Shadow Sneak, though. That's gonna kill. And yeah, I'm in serious trouble. Uh, actually, wait. Does Gudra have enough? I know I kill him with Fire Blast at this range, but can I live a Shadow Sneak? He goes for King Shield, alright, I'm gonna Fire Blast again regardless, because I know that I, well, actually, no, I'm gonna go for Protect, force him, okay, he switched out, cool, uh, I was actually trying to force him into his sort of, uh, like, attacking form, I guess, I'm gonna go to Scizor, uh, I don't know what he wants to do, probably wants to go for, like, a Dragon move, if he does, uh, yeah, what does he do? I know, we'll see, I guess. I don't want to, like, be too pretty- oh. Okay, uh, that's not a problem. It could have been, but I don't think it is. Okay, that's a problem. No, it's not. No, <laughs> not even a problem. Oh, that's life warp damage as well. Wow, that's not much at all. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a sword stance, and now we are gonna roost on the very predictable King Shield. Or not. He's gonna sword stance. Uh, I'm gonna sword stance again then, because he's- now he's definitely gonna King Shield, surely. Yep. Mind games. Mind games. That's what it's all about. It is all- oh, actually, wait. That's fair enough damage. Uh, I know I can take whatever he wants to go for. I'm gonna Sword Stance again. King Shield coming. Hopefully. Uh, nope. Okay, he's gonna go for the- say Oh, wow, that's very good damage. Uh, Roost, because he's gonna King Shield. Yep. The mind games. <laughs> you gotta play the games. Uh, how much does Bullet Punch do? Wow, that did a lot. Alright, that did just about enough. Um, see, the thing is, I know he's gonna go for... Uh, oh, wow, I, it doesn't look like he has anything to hit Zapdos. And, oh no, I lost my Scizor. I needed that for... God, the carving. Ah, uh, wait, so he has King Shield, Sword Stance, uh, Iron Head, and... Yeah. Oh, where? What? Did he not use Iron Head? No, he did not. No, he did not. <laughs> I lost then. Age Slash just swept me up. Why did he go for... Why didn't he just go for... I don't understand. I would've just went for Shadow Sneak. I'm pretty sure Gudra can't take it, so... I don't see the point. What's he doing? Why would you... What is... No, what? Okay. Uh, whatever. Um, if he wasn't confident enough that he'd take me out, then uh, that's fair enough to him. <laughs> that's whatever. I I don't care. He threw away the match. I'm pretty sure I lost. But I think I might win now because... Um, yeah, I can just switch out into Zoomerol if he wants to go for a dragon move. As he does go for Dragon Claw, obvious move was obvious. And was Aqua Jet. Actually, no, I, he is carving, so I can't actually hit that. Oh, why did I do that? That was such an obvious switch. I should have went for. Why didn't I go for Flare Rope? Flare Rope hits everything. That was not smart on my part. Uh. Gujra, I guess, because I don't have anything else that really switches in. Power Up Punch, that's not a problem. Uh. It looks like it could be, but I don't think it will be, so. Fire Blast should kill Chestnut, it has like no special defense at all. I have no recovery on Gudra though, so... Oh my, that did nothing. I suppose because I have like no special investment, but... Yeah, that did not do enough. Alright, we're gonna Fire Blast again. If we get the burn, I'd be happy, but it doesn't look likely. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can win, just because of the uh, burn. No, no burn. Rock Slide doesn't even kill. And, uh, we'll just go for a Dragon Pulse. I, yeah, I can't win because of the, uh, the problematic, 
uh, thing. Problematic Age Slash. Like, uh, he could have swept me though, I don't know why he switched, I don't realize that, but I don't like, understand why, but... I mean, I would have stayed in, uh... Gonna protect, this thing probably wants to like, U-turn or something, Ice Beam? U-turn, uh... 33%, I don't think I live, but what does he go to though? Uh, he has Tyrantrum. Oh, wait, he doesn't even have Carving. That was a different battle. Okay, never mind. Uh, probably wants to sack Tyrantrum. I'm not gonna try and get the double protect because I probably won't get it. And just eat up that Dark Pulse. Doesn't do enough though. Uh, Age Slash is such a problem. I'm gonna protect again. As he goes, yeah, he's like, I keep predicting like the U turn, but. Uh. I can kill him with another Dragon Ball. I'm gonna fish for the double. Please give me the double. Yes, there it is. The double protect. Alright. Uh. I'm gonna Fire Blast. Please U turn to Age Slash. Please U turn to Age Slash. I swear, if you go to Age Slash, I'll be so happy. I will be so happy if you go to Age Slash, because I can win with Terrakion then. Please, 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 please. Please go to Age Slash. Oh, I can't. That's gonna not kill either, is it? Nope. <laughs> Why didn't he go to Age Slash? That's definitely the more optimal switch, in my opinion. But not really, though. <laughs> but. <laughs> that's not even a problem. Not really, anyway. T Rack. Uh. Stone Edge. I should have beat it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Age Slash is the problem. Stone Edge again. Missed. Um, it's over now. Even though Stone Edge wouldn't have done anything. I don't have anything to hit Age Slash, so... It doesn't really matter, I guess. But we'll see how much Stone Edge does. If I get a crit, I'll be happy. I just miss altogether. And he kills me, yeah, it's... GG. Age Slash. Just... It's just too much. It's really just too much. So he just kills me with Shadow Sneak. Yep, there it is. Alright. I was not as close as I thought it would be, but it was still a decent battle nonetheless. Anyway, that's going to wrap up the showdown live. That was pretty long, so we're not battle as long at least. So yeah, like, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys for more. Surely enough, get to then.